What's going on, guys? Smith Doggy back with another video, and today we've got something a little bit different. So lately, I've been playing a lot of Escape from Tarkov, and of course, with Escape from Tarkov comes the the need for money. And this that I'm going to show you today is the route that I usually run on my Scav. It's on customs, and usually, if you run this route, you can come out with like three to four hundred thousand rubles worth of stuff. It only takes around 13, 14 minutes to complete. And yesterday, I made between like three and four mil doing this off stream. So. If you're new to Tarkov and you're looking to make some money, make sure you copy this route and hopefully it helps. And if you spawn on the other side of the map as opposed to where I did, just run the same route but in reverse. If you guys run this route, let me know how you did in the comments below. And with scav runs, just bear in mind that when you are hitting stashes, if someone beats you to the stash, unfortunately, that's just bad luck. And hopefully you get them next time. But this is the best way to guarantee yourself coming out with a good amount of money. And uh, leave a like and subscribe for more Tarkov content. Enjoy the video. I don't think there's anything wrong with having conversations about this, you know? As long as people are being respectful and friendly, there's nothing wrong with delving into it. It's just if someone's a dick, then obviously things change. You know what I'm saying? No, come on. Oh, why, Tarkov? Why must you make me suffer like this? I, I do wish I'd paid more. I think one of my biggest regrets is, like, not not paying more attention at school just purely on the basis that like i would like to just know more things you know i i wish that i was just a, a more into whoa guys can someone run a price check on that for me please i think that's expensive as fuck can someone run a price check on iridium for me please right guys so here's the plan we are on our scav which means we exist with one goal and one goal only which is to make money with that in mind I have a stash. I, I have a route that I run. I have a route that I run to make money. This is the route I run run when I'm on my scav, both on and off stream. Um, so if you play Tarkov and you would like, you know, to know a way to make money, this is the route I run and I've made millions today doing this. So bear that in mind. So if you're new to the game and you're on customs, uh, the big red warehouse is on the other side of that train and this is the main bridge. This will be how you sort of find your feet and know where you are um right off the bat so just so just so you can get your bearings i know when you're when you're new to a game like this it can be very hard to have any idea where you are um but the first thing is like you want to find this bridge or at least something around this area just so you know where where you're at my guy's out of breath or why is my guy exhausted bro we literally just started man how is my guy exhausted already dude what were you uh what were you playing um Vas Vassal Vassal. Sorry, dude. I'm trying so hard to get your name right, and I'm just butchering it, mate. Sorry. <clears throat> so we run it one or two ways. Now it depends which way your extract is. So I have military base CP, passage between the rocks, and admin gate. Those are three really good extracts because they are all in the direction we're gonna head. That gives us a nice clear route to hit some stashes, and I know where they're all at, so we're gonna do that. Cam seven thousand and five, thank you so much for the follow, mate. Welcome to the channel. How you doing today, bud? Rocket League? Nice. I do love a bit of Rocket League. It's good fun. It is good fun. Now, we're quite lucky. We've got a bag here, so we're kind of chilling. How long's left of this raid? 12 minutes. So, there shouldn't really be any PMCs left. The The only way we're really going to run into any resistance is if we come another player, come across another player scav who's just killing other scavs. But we're going to hope that doesn't happen. So, we're going to kick this off by hitting this box here. Always search these. These can have some really good expensive stuff in them. Like that ratchet. That's 70k right there. Wrench we're not going to take. USB we're not going to take. But that ratchet is like 70,000 rubles already. So we're, we're big chill in there. Hopefully there's no one in here. On this desk, you want to search over here. You can get some gold stars on these desks. Uh, we've got a cat. I'm going to take I'm gonna take whatever meds I can carry for now. Um, just in case we do come across anyone who wants to, you know, shoot the shit out of us whilst we're out there. The fact that we're finding all these meds is a good sign, though, because that means people probably haven't looted this building. Sir, so, with that being said, we're free to uh, to loot it and look for intelligence and other stuff. This room has a load of meds in it, so we're going to check for anything good, but all I'm seeing is a bandage, another cat. We already have one of those, so we're not going to bother. Let's head into the next room. Now, this room here can have something in it called intelligence, which looks like a little file um and you want to grab that file if you spot it because it is generally worth a few hundred thousand so we're going to look out but that is just some paper we don't want that we are going to keep an eye out for intelligence it doesn't look like there's any here i hope i haven't missed it um i'm not seeing any though so we're gonna we're gonna head out of here um i'm not gonna bother going through all those drawers because i only have 12 minutes and i would rather 
search the chests than those drawers because they take quite a long time to search uh check here we're gonna search this guy because he can quite often have some good stuff on him i've actually got fuel off this guy before i have no clue how the currency works in this game um so it's it's russian rubles i don't know if russia actually works in rubles i don't know if that is actually the currency russia used but that is what they are they are in this so uh yeah you basically just buy and buy and sell stuff to the traders and the flea market when you unlock it at level 15 so we're gonna head straight through here i don't have enough to, if i had more time i would look around this building but we've only got 10 minutes so the key here is speed we just want to be as quick as we can loot efficiently so i'm going to run through here and through here is another box that we can search these can have good you know like tools in them and things like that these can have all sorts of good stuff in them so always check these out hey thank you so much cams i appreciate you they uh pox ram sells for 13 grand to therapist or about twelve thousand to therapist so we're gonna take that as well <clears throat> i want to get into tarkov mate honestly it has it has the the biggest vouch that i could possibly provide uh you can get meds and stuff spawn in here i'm not gonna take that mre it's honestly just a waste of slots and i'll end up dropping it if we come across other stuff sounds like there's something kicking off over there so we'll keep that in mind and we will avoid it propane not really worth taking for us honestly um where am i going i'll go through this way so there's a stash under here where is it this way right here look so we're gonna hit this stash this is gonna be the first one we're gonna hit and then after this it's gonna be quick pretty quick moving there's one more box for us to hit upstairs rat cola i don't know why someone didn't take that i think that's actually worth a little bit rat cola come on out we get kiemen there we go now we've only got nine minutes so i have to be really really quick really really quick there's another box upstairs up here that we're going to search and then after that it's literally stashes until extract pretty much if i get time to search electrical i will but we are really 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 super low on time so uh yeah operation move quick is a go here's the toolbox that we want we're going to search this running low on slots i've really not been uh not been given much looks like someone's done a pretty thorough job of looting unfortunately okay well your mum's a you know someone out there shooting at me that's unfortunate because i think he's on train tracks as well so that kind of sucks hopefully that's not a pmc hey bull jesus you're right man we've had a good one thank you How have you been today mate you've been all right if i die here i die here but i have to go this way anyway i don't i don't have anything on me that i'm too worried about losing so we're just gonna send it whatever happens happens my guy is constantly out of energy though pretty frustrating stuff pretty frustrating stuff especially when i'm on such a low timer uh looks like we've got someone ahead of us hitting the stashes but here's where one stash is just under the pipe in the tire um underneath the uh, uh outside the bus station don't you do it okay good lad just got off from watching Lucci. How is his stream, man? Has he been all right today? <clears throat> I tolerated Warzone as long as I could, mate. But I had to get off. Right, no one's hit this stash, so... There we go. Body armor? No? Tape? S-plug? Don't be a teabag. What's that? That's three. This is three. That's got more. You know what? We'll just take it. Stuff it. It's not very good. It's not a great find, but better than nothing. So once you've hit the one by the base of that tree, we're going to head over to the tracks. And on the other side of this wall will be another stash that we're going to hit as well. Uh, subsonic. So my main thing with Tarkov, yes, it is worth every penny. However, there is also a very steep learning curve. And you have to know and accept that that learning curve is there before you get into the game. Don't go into it if you think that it's going to be an easy ride you know this game takes a lot of learning but it's very rewarding to learn and i recommend it more so than any other game out there right now so yeah we've unfortunately we've got someone out there who's hitting the stashes ahead of us so there's probably not going to be much good stuff left but we'll uh, we'll try our luck and see if we can't find something since we've not got too much to worry about losing what we'll probably look at do doing is going for the furthest extract and hit as much loot Oh, that shrapnel has just bounced all the way past me from an explosion way over there. Um, yeah, so we're going to try and hit as much stuff as we possibly can. We're probably not going to extract until last minute because someone has been ahead of us and hit everything before we got there. So 
Sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. Nothing good there that I want to take. What we got here? A little fall grip. Why not? Might as well. <clears throat> Gonna hit this weapon crate, and then there's a stash against this blue fence outside. Silencer. Nice. That could be worth a few. Mosin and P20, uh, P226. We're not going to take that. Another stash here. This one hopefully hasn't been hit. Come on. Come in. Give me something good. Give me. It is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Smelly Foots, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. How you doing, mate? The running commentary is a massive help to us talk of um, Virgin's boss. Enjoying this right now. I got you, man. So once you've hit that blue fence, you're going to just follow that fence along and come all the way to this end bush. And we're going to search this stash right here too. Now these are like, if you do start learning this game, they're not going to be that, e this is going to be a gun or something. This is a pistol here then. It's going to take a little while for you to find these stashes and that's okay. Um, but once you've done them a few times, you'll know. So next to that stash here, this empty space is the extract passage between the rocks, which you can see in the top right. So if you had that extract and you wanted to get out of the raid, if you were to head between those two rocks and stand there, you would get out and you'd be you'd be out. So, yes, Brandon. Yeah, we're on Twitch, mate. Yeah. Uh, links in my bio, dude. Another stash right here between these two trees. It's hard to describe this one. It's just in the middle of a field. It's hard to find, um, if I'm being honest with you. Decent. We got wires. So we're probably going to get rid of the T for the wires. And we will get rid of the cat for the badge. The badge is a good find. That badge is probably about 35,000 if I had to place a bet. If I had to place a bet. Talk of tutorial vids coming soon. I don't... My knowledge isn't... If, if I had this level of knowledge for everything, then I would. However, this is like... I'm knowledgeable with this because this run here... This loot run is like the most common thing that I do. So I know this better than everything else. Um... We'll put the we'll put the cheese slice away for the nuts. We'll take the nuts. Moosh cake, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Much love. And we've only got three minutes, and there's another two stashes that we can hit quick, but our two other extracts are like super, super close. So we had military base CP, which is where we just came from, and then the other one is admin gate, which is literally through that hole. It's right there. That gate there underneath the pylon is uh is admin gate so quality's a lot better here yeah you're sort of limited with what you can do on um on tiktok that's why it is. the tiktok pretty much exists just as a you know as a a way to let people know that this is here so this game looks like something i'd be into yeah you'd enjoy it graham for sure someone's already searched that bag so we've got this stash to hit here in this bush this one's super easy to find it's just along the wall in that bush Come on, what we got? Give us something good. Give me something good. This squash is now... This used to be... To oh, that's another one of these. This used to be worth nothing, but now it's part of a barter um, where you can swap it for something else, basically. Um, and you can swap it for a really good container. So now it actually sells for about 20k. So if you get that squash, keep hold of it. Don't eat it. So that is our extract. So I've got two minutes... But I only need like seven seconds to extract. So I'm going to push it a little bit. And try and be back there in time. So there's a stash in those bushes. And there's a stash under this pipe. And I'm going to try and hit both of those real quick. But like, do you just reset everything every game? Would In, in what sense, Goku, sorry, do you reset everything? Every, every raid is a new raid, yeah. But like, the wipes happen, but not that common. Okay, we're going to get rid of that for that. Hand drill is worth quite a bit of money, but I'm not sure exactly how much. Um, hand drill. I don't know how much it's worth per slot, so we're going to leave it. I've got 1 minute 54. So if I'm going to prioritize what I'm going to hit... Oh, that's already been hit. Son of a bitch. Right, well, in that case, I'm going to go to the stash in the corner. Hope I don't die. And then we're going to extract. We're going to give ourselves a bit of time. How many squashes do you need? Because I got two. I think five. I think five. And then I think it's Jaeger. Someone's already hit this. Then I think it's Jaeger you can um, do the uh, the thing with. All right, that's already been hit, so no problem. Unfortunately, it's not the best. It's not the best run we've ever had, purely because someone was ahead of us hitting all other stashes. 
it is what it is you can you can know the route sometimes you'll get a really good run sometimes someone will have hit the loot in front of you and there's not much you can do about it it just is what it is but bear in mind that these stashes are of course always going to be in the same places so even when you're on your pmc you can still hit those stashes and it's probably where a lot of your money will come from honestly does no one kill you for loot they can um pmcs would kill me on site and other scabs would if they're dicks but